Starlink officially is in Ghana and this is what you need to know, all right? So a couple of weeks ago, I think a week ago, all right, uh, the NCO, National Communication Authority, announced on their Twitter page or their ex page that Starlink will start its operation in Ghana by the end of the month. That is August. 2024. So we are all in an expectance mode, expecting that Starlink definitely should start operating in Ghana by the end of this week. All right. Guess what? Today we woke up to the news that Starlink officially have started selling their devices in Ghana. All right. So you can just picture Starlink today. All right. So now let's talk about the pricing. Look about the subscription cost. We talk about the, I mean, the price of the device, the subscription cost. We look at um, what the game. Look at the type of device you are going to get. All right. And if it's worth it by the way all right so let's start so personally i've been using starlink for about five months and yes it has served me well i won't lie i mean sometimes i talk about starlink as though i am paid to promote them i'm not paid to promote anyone all right but the fact that i used to have i mean i don't want to talk about that but yeah i'm having a good time with starlink all right so definitely if you're an active internet user and when i talk about active internet users i mean those who normally use internet to work online all right to download to watch movies who have internet connected to their smart tv and all that i think starlink definitely would serve you well because it's unlimited and also it's fast all right so let's look at the prices or the hardware price for starlink all right many of us were expecting that starlink will enter the market with pretty much high price all right in terms of the hardware itself right because when it came to nigeria it was pretty much sold for 10,000 is equivalent as, as, as well as other countries too all right so we're expecting that ghana we should be moving around 8,000 to 10,000 but guess what the entry price is 5,400 5,390 cities which is i mean approximately 5,400 which is super cool this is a good deal all right it's, it's really a good deal all right i think a lot of Ghanaians can still afford all right because it's still at the higher end all right but relatively i think it's a good deal for for anyone who makes money or depends uh, on the internet to make ends meet all right so for those of us i think it's a really good thing to look at this so now let's look at the subscription cost the subscription cost would cost around 770 cities 770 cities for the residential and about 1540 or 1500 for uh, mobile all right so for the residential residential i mean if you live in an apartment if you have, if you have an office or you have, if you have a permanent building that you want to mount on all right that pretty much is considered as residential all right so for that you can mount it on and then pay um 770 cities and even that they have other subscription within the residential we have the uh, mobile priority and i mean they have the residential priority that which gives you uh, additional a gigabyte of bandwidth and all that all right so basically uh, the residential pretty much is classified as any permanent building or apartment so if you if you are a, a homeowner if you are a real estate developer if you are investing i mean whatever hostel whatever you can just get starlink and pretty much um share the cost i mean add the cost to your service all right that doesn't mean you should overprice it because with 770 cities and maybe if you are selling let's say 10 or 20 people in your house each one should be paying somewhere 50 or 100 cities or 150 cities per month which is super cool all right one thing i like about starlink is the fact that you can share with people like myself uh, i i pay 500 cities don't ask me why and they'll ask me how all right because now it doesn't work i'm paying 500 cities monthly and i'm not paying it alone i'm sharing with my neighbor which means we are both paying around 250 or yeah 250 something a month all right which is super cool for me and it's unlimited all right it's connected to tv it's connected i use i mean definitely i use it for everything which is super 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 cool for me all right now let's look at the type of styling device so when they entered uh, into the nigerian market they were selling the v2 right so normally the v2 was the standard the v2 has been a standard styling um kit all right so for that one it doesn't have a fitted uh, uh, ethernet port all right and um yeah it doesn't have a fitted ethernet port uh, uh, it doesn't have a fitted ethernet port and also there is not the res water resistance for water resistance i don't even care because i use the v2 and it hasn't been disrupted by rain i mean to extend that i wouldn't have internet service i mean to, 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 i mean zero internet service i've never had that experience where i used to hear people say that um when it rains heavily your internet connectivity or connection will be totally disrupted no i mean the v2 is good so for the internet for water for the water resistance for me it's not so much of a big deal v2 in comparison with the v3 i think v3 is better so i think you get is it ip4 ip something something for the v2 it's not fitted with um ethernet ethernet port and what else 
yeah and the good side is it automatically adjusts to satellite position for the v2 right it can totally automatically adjust to satellite position maybe if there's a satellite here and it thinks that it sees that this place where it's going to get a better connection it's connected to that point which 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 is super cool all right so yes that that's for the v2 that's what they brought to nigerians all right and guess what they were selling for 10,000 cities and later brought it down all right but for ghana we are getting v3 or machine 3 that's the uh, pretty much the next to the newest model of the styling kit right which is fitted with the ethernet port already so you don't need to buy any add-on ethernet fits all right unlike the v2 all right it also comes with ip54 water resistance all right and i think it's flat high flat wide all right uh so it, just like the v2 that will automatically adjust to any set like good set like position the v3 basically has a wide area to have access to the satellite whatever whatever i, I, I don't know yeah but basically what v2 does by regulating itself or adjusting itself v2 will do the same thing by just being there all right i hope you get the point so with all that being said do you think starlink is good for you for me i think it depends on you if you are an active internet user then i recommend you jump on starlink if you are a passive internet user i think it will work for you because you'll be paying 700 cc 770 cc's monthly for basically nothing all right so um yeah that is it so um we also have a starlink community in ghana a starlink whatsapp community is growing if you want to join this type i want to join the starlink community that is if you own starlink for only starlink users all right if you own starlink or you want to own starlink all right just type i want to join the starlink community and definitely we we'll dm you and then you can join the starlink community in ghana all right so what question i mean now i think i'm a starlink expert because i've used it i've abused it so i pretty much know the ins and outs of starlink all right and um so if you want to know anything about starlink just um let me know all right write in the comment section and i'll definitely react to it using video or maybe via test all right so so guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video and all the best i think it's a moment to celebrate ghana internet milestone all right so bye